Hello everyone, it's Carol at Ocas Journals. I'm going to do Marguerite Miller's Collage Wheelie Planner Challenge for 2023. And as you can see, I've got the prompts here for week 32. So just to go through those, I've got my background paper here to work on. And the first prompt is text in a foreign language. So I've got various pieces of a handwritten French document. I've got a small thin strip there, a couple of medium size pieces here, um, a slightly larger square piece there, another little piece there and a much larger piece. So I've certainly got enough here to work with. Which one I'm going to use at the moment, I've got no idea, but I'll have those to one side to use. Um, the next prompt is something in a circus or carnival. Well, I've got this lovely little moody image here of a clown and a marquee. And obviously you get both of those in the circus. So that image hits the prompt. Fire or smoke? Well, I've got this image here. And as you can see, I've got a fire eater and a fire dancer on this side. I'm going to use this guy here. And what I've done is I've printed out this image twice, but as you can see, I've flipped it horizontally. So I've got those, something with a spine. Well, I've got this really cute image here of a tiny little elephant on a ball. Something that starts with a T. Well, I've got a trapeze artist or a high wire walker and I'm going to be using that. And the bonus is a sticker. Well, we went to our local National Trust Hall very recently and this was an admission ticket. If I put this on double-sided adhesive paper, which I plan to do, then this will become a sticker. So I'm going to use that. So those are all my pieces. The first thing I need to do is some fussy cutting. So I'm going to go away and cut this chap out. I'm going to cut round the elephant and I'm going to cut out my two fire eaters here. So this guy and this guy. And I will be back when that's done. Okay, so I've got my pieces um, all cut out and I'm just going to pop this to one side and just have a look at where I want this to be positioned. And it's pretty much going to have to be central on my page for where I want to have these pieces. Um, I've got my text here and that piece has got a slither cut out of it, but I think I can glue that down when it's on the page. And I was wondering whether or not to have that at the top there, something like that. So it's just peeping out at the top. See what it looks like on the other side. Now I've got that white space there, so I don't want to use that. So I'm gonna pop it that way round. And yeah, have it just like that with a couple of rows peeping out at the top. And then I thought I could have these little pieces. There's this sort of bunting across this curve of the tent. And I thought if I put him on there like that, he could almost be in the background and it looks like he's grounded on the grass. And it doesn't matter if he goes off the page there. And similarly here with this one, have him like that so that they appear as if they're in the background and flanking my clown here. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Now this I need to back on to some double-sided paper, so I'm going to do that next, but I'm liking the look of this so far. So I'm just going to move that to one side and bring in some double-sided paper. Oh, before I do that, let me just see where I want to place it. Um, now I was thinking I could place it here at the bottom 
so that it balances up top and bottom above and below this picture obviously I'm going to need to move that up a little bit and I don't want to have National Trust Rufford Old Hall showing I'm just going to have a Mission 3D I think and I need to trim it down a little bit to size on this side here so let's do that first and then I can bring in these two little pieces so let's trim this down and get this backed it's not straight true to form I might smooth up this rough edge if I can like that and I think that works yeah that looks more or less even to me so I'll get some double-sided paper now. So I've got some Sizzix A4 double-sided adhesive tape sheets. Okay, so this is my sticker now. I just need to peel off the white portion here and that is now a sticker. And I think I'm more or less done with this one. Um, super, super quick. I thought that I would have my little elephant down there between the legs, like that. And I'm going to create a high wire or trapeze wire up here for that little one to go on. So I'm just going to get my pieces glued into place. But what I want to do first is work out where this centerpiece needs to be so that I can work out where I want that one placed. So as I said, I think I'm just going to go with something like that. Um, I'm wondering whether to trim this down across the bottom. Yes, I'm going to do that. So let's trim this one down and I think that more or less looks even with this portion and this portion here. I like how the corners are rounded on this but I don't think they're quite even so I'm just going to go in and round them some more. Okay so I'm liking this where it is so I'm going to go in and glue that piece. And I'm trying to center it up inside my border and I just want that writing peeping over the top not much and I'm trying to get even on either side as I said so let's get this one glued down here at the bottom before I glue the rest of this down I've got this little piece to tuck in there and I'm thinking I'm just going to have that just centered under the feet so let's take the backing off and even though this has got adhesive on the back I'm still going to put a little bit of glue from my Pritt stick on here because that way it will give me a little bit of wiggle room when I come to set it down onto my page here it won't grab as quick and that will give me some time to get it nicely positioned where I want it to go. So I'm thinking something like that. And I'm just going to check that's level because I am terrible for being able to do that and that looks fine to me. So I'm going to go in with my bone folder and just ease it in place now. Okay, so now I can glue the rest of this down. I'm just going to smooth that down and onto my page like that. And now what I thought I would do for my fire, as I said, was to have that like that so that these guys are in the background. Yes, so let's go with that. So some glue on the back. And then I'm going to go in with my little elephant down here. And then my trapeze artist I thought I would have here. Now I'm going to have it down there I think. There we go. I thought I would put some cotton from the top here of the circus tent down to his feet and then across. Got to 
put a line of glue, or glitter glue on here. So let's see if I can get that done. Now you probably can see that I haven't got my elephant quite straight down there so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with another piece of the um, foreign text and just put a little bit across the bottom and I'm hoping by doing that that will take the eye away from the fact that it's not straight. Just a rough torn piece like that. Yeah I think that works. I think it needs something there. Um, I am mean, wondering whether to trim everything square and I think I will do that because this will be the only rough torn piece on here. So let's do that. And as you can see I've just trimmed it square and um, just clipped off the corners so that they're not at 90 degrees. So this is my finished page for um, assignment number 32, text in a foreign language. Well, I've got my big piece up here and a little piece down there. Something in a circus or a carnival. Well, I've got my lovely clown, but also you get a tent usually or a marquee um, with a circus. So I've got those. Fire or smoke. Well, I've got my two gentlemen on either side of my clown there. Something with a spine. Well, this was... The piece that I chose, my little elephant here that the clown is looking down at, he was the piece I chose specifically for this prompt. But equally, these two gentlemen, being human, they have a spine, my clown will have a spine, my trapeze artist will have a spine, so I've got lots to hit that particular prompt. Um, the next prompt, anything that starts with a T, well I've got T for tent, um, but I also thought my high wire gentleman here, my trapeze artist up there, would hit that prompt. And finally, a sticker. Well, I have this ticket here that I made into a sticker by using some double-sided adhesive paper. So a very simple collage this week, but I love this image so much with this gorgeous little clown here that I wanted to use it. And I just love how his eyes just seem to be looking down. He was looking down between his feet at the grass, but um, I think now he's looking down at this little elephant down here. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this one come together and I hope you'll join me next Monday for assignment number 32. Until then, have a great week everybody. Happy crafting and photos as usual at the end for you to have a closer look. Bye bye now. <laughs>